Let's talk about first about uh, telling stories and documenting unique, unique places and incidents. And I'll give you a number of uh, anecdotes here. Uh, first of all, being an unsuccessful uh, project we were working on, which was the privatization of the railways in Bolivia, and how capturing some of the stuff on photography was truly meaningful. Uh, one of the things that you can't do in Bolivia is high rail when you're doing an inspection trip because on narrow gauge, uh, it's, there, there is no road vehicle that's uh, Bolivia uh, doing the closest thing we can come to a high rail trip. You'll, you'll know the collapsed bridge in the background uh, and the temporary bridge in the foreground. That will tell you about some of the engineering challenges that are out there. And then later on, we found this uh, wheel set rolling down the main line. <laughs> which seemed to be a message which was not exactly encouraging uh, as far as what uh, people at the grassroots level thought about rail privatization. That being said, uh, I wish that I had had a movie camera because what happened here was we pushed the wheel set over the next hill to get it out of the way and then it got going really, really fast. <laughs> That's a different story for another day. Uh, one of the things that you do enjoy is the local cuisine, and uh, this is not unusual in terms of the types of meals that uh, we were able to enjoy on our trips. Uh, but why would anybody be interested in this railway? Well, for one thing, take a look at this passenger train, uh, which if you look closely on the side of the coaches, this is the Orient Express. <laughs> Why would so many people be riding a passenger train in Latin America where typically intercity transportation is by bus or air and the passenger train has largely disappeared? Well, there's no road. And in this part of Bolivia, not only is there no road, but they're literally burning down the forest next to the tracks to plant soybeans. So this was a fabulous railroad, which ultimately wound up uh, as part of the Genesee Wyoming portfolio. I have a fair amount of Conrail material. The best thing I have is uh, a supply of Conrail stickers. And <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm the only person in this room with a 2012 Conrail calendar. <laughs>